um, uh, one second. Yeah, hi, I have an emergency. Um, I can't blink anymore? Yeah, I was playing Burnout Revenge on Ifinity. How did you know? Well, that's strange. I thought there were so few of us Ifinity gamers. Well, is there any cure for this sort of thing? Uh-huh. Okay, you guys know best. Well, doctor knows best. that work! Who knew flossing your eyes actually does something for you? And now, I can play Burnout Paradise without any repercussions. Burnout is a very fast-paced arcade-style racing game. Those are a dime a dozen, you say? This is true. But the Burnout games have always had an emphasis on one thing more than any other racing game. So have you guessed what the emphasis is on yet? Or should I show some more footage of cars crashing into things in other cars? I'll give you just one more second to think about it. Did you guess car customization is the major emphasis? If you did, you're dead wrong. Obviously, this is a game in which you will crash and your opponents will crash, and random cars on the street will crash. I will say that if the game's engine knows one thing, it's how to frame a crash to make it look as devastating and realistic as possible. With all this continued talk about crashing, I feel like if I don't change the subject at all just a little bit, I'm gonna lose you. So this is as good a time as any to introduce a new segment. It's Final, Final Destination, Destination. Pop At the end of Final Destination 4, a. Everyone dies. B. Everyone dies. C. Everyone dies. D. All of the below. And E. Everyone dies. Stay tuned later for the answer. Burnout Paradise is a unique racing game in the effect that you start somewhere and the finish line is shown on the map, but there's no set route to get there. You're on your own for that. This was a big complaint with people who reviewed this game, yet Grand Theft Auto does similar things all the time with their missions and no one's complaining. Paradise City is a big open world, but you can't get out of your car. You can drive around freely for as long as you wish, but if you want to progress further or unlock new cars, go to an intersection, press the buttons on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and win the event. Normally, I would be going into how to make this run in a multiple monitor setup, go through the coding, you know, the boring part of more of my videos, but today, we can skip that. Due to the most delicious words that every multiple monitor gamer loves to see, <laughs> It hasn't! Multiple monitor native support? I'm sure you're thinking of something like this, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It just means the game is ready to go on multiple monitors right out of the box. So you're probably wondering, why the fuck are you reviewing this multi-monitor mic? There's other PC games out there that could use your help and know-how. And great show, and good looks, and fun personality. Um, Uh, I'm just kidding. I know I'm not that popular online... yet. Okay, let's go into the menu screen. If you go down to video options, you'll see the video options allow you to set the resolution to your more than one monitor setup. In fact, the third option clearly states multiple monitors. It practically has my name on it. Once this menu screen is opened, it'll cater to your needs as a multiple monitor gamer. The first option will let you pick the monitor setup, whether it be two monitors, three, four, or 38 of them. 
I'm not sure if it goes that high, but whatever. I'm glad at least us three monitor gamers are taken care of. The second option is blocked unless you're using only a two monitor setup. You can position the screen however you want it in that case. The third allows you to adjust the heads up display to span across all three monitors or just stay in the middle one. I say the middle one is the option to go for since you'll need to refer to the map pretty often in this game and you don't want to be looking all the way to the bottom of your right monitor to find it. It's the final destination. Answer. Oh, Victoria, you are the sweetest of all beers. Why can I not have you every night I see you? Because you couldn't handle me. Well, Mr. Bean has something to say about that. Don't you diss him, woman. Uh, yeah, this uh, quiz we were doing. Final Destination 4, was it? Here's the question, there's the answers, and now for the actual answer. Choice B-2. There was no movie called Final Destination 4 since the fourth movie in the series was called The Final Destination. <laughs> Hell, even I forgot about that. I guess if I'd have said Final Destination 3, the answer would have been C. Tell the people what they've won. If you did indeed guess answer B-2, you'll be awarded 500 multi-monitor Mike Miles for use in any location Eastern Airlines flies to. Eastern Airlines, we used to be huge. Offer expires January 19th, 1991. Eastern Airlines, I'm not above making jokes about out-of-business airlines. Not at all. So, as far as Burnout Paradise goes, I would definitely recommend it on a multiple monitor setup. I would also recommend it as a standalone game. If you like very fast-paced, speedy, adrenaline-pumping racing, then this is for you. If you want car customization and the technical aspects and whatnot, it's not. This is for 10 minutes of just fast-paced racing craziness. And now to switch gears. Last month was not an easy one for me. I didn't have one of my better birthdays, we'll just say that. I did lose a loved one, and a loved pet, in case you noticed my birdcage being a little empty these days. But on the lighter side, at the beginning of this month, I got to welcome into the world my new niece. And with all these things said, I think I need to just take the rest of the video and give them a little remembrance, or well-wishing, if anything. So. Normally I like to end these on a joke, but today we're going to take it in a different direction. But take care everyone. Thanks for watching.